over here, Molly the Walker Slayer. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna put that as the title. That's what it's gonna be, Molly the Walker Slayer. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Wait a minute, what the hell? Excuse my, I can't even, no, forget it. I ain't sitting here bleeping my shit out no more. What the hell? Hey everyone, this is Infamous here, coming back to you with another gameplay of The Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 4, Around Every Corner. It, oh, we about to see him be selling our bodies to the corner on the on the sidewalks and stuff? Like, no, we ain't gonna be doing that, honey. We don't give nothing for free, or for cash. That's the truth. <laughs> Let's get it started. I'm just playing. Hope everybody having a good day today, you know. I know when I upload this, it's going to be already, <laughs> it's going to be the next, next day. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to ask y'all about three days prior, like, how y'all doing today? Y'all doing good? That's good. If y'all not doing good, it's okay. Previously on The Walking Dead. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Now, what the fuck's the problem? Hey! No! I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man. We should go our own way when we get there. The crew is falling apart. You and I are stronger alone. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Fine! You stay here and we'll go with your lady! The hell you will! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? Y'all might want to rethink your plan. Can't I just hold it? No, you can't. You've been lying to me. Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? It sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It ain't gonna, gonna be. be. okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? 
Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? Y'all better just see and go ahead and go. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? Oh, this is not good. It tolls for thee. Who the heck was saying I put the bell out? Why would y'all do that? We, it, they, we ain't no food course meal. Y'all better start running. Everybody, run! No, you're not. You ain't gonna catch up with us. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? No, Chuck! Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. No time. We gotta go now. I'll be fine. Just go. No, you won't. Why are you lying? This is gonna be the last time we see each other. I'll get the door. You okay? Ah. Uh. Yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Lee, instead of just standing there like a goddamn mute, maybe you could give us a hand here? Look, I ain't trying to get into y'all y'all scuffles. Like, they ain't the time of the day. Looks like something was buried here. Just a doghouse. The shovel is never not useful. I wonder if I can dig up the grave. Still digging up God knows what until we find our way into that house first. No, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Watch. But first, before we even do it, this mofo, skill, no, I'm gonna say, it. this mofo gonna sit here, really gonna leave Clem like that. He could have just ran with her, held her hand, and ran off. But no, no, no. Ben. Bob 
about what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I you didn't froze. You ran that? off. Hasn't that ever happened to you? You Just ran off. What are you thing. talking about? You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Yeah, well, I figured that's probably for the best. I'm going to go check things out. All right. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could you know be what, infected. Krista? I'm tired of you always be being offense. negative, huh, girl? But you, you always really gotta... need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm tired of Krista always trying to bring down the mood. It's like she keep on thinking every possible negative thing that could happen. It's like, oh, he, he might get infected. He's going to lose some blood. He's going to lose some, lose his life. Oh, no, Clementine's going to get eaten alive if you don't see him take care of her. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, girl, stop, stop. Calm down. We don't got time for all that. We try to survive here. We not try to think negative. We ain't try to see him be Do all you think the dead stressed out. Us come back here. Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. He used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time we're the cookies. Just <laughs> stay away from the gate. I'm gonna see about getting us inside. Yeah, technically it's not the same. Technically it's not the same because your hamster was alive. These are dead walking. So yes, they're not gonna think. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right. So, where's the dog? There yeah, now, now, now we can do it. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to- Just do what I say, okay? Oh, look like the dog got torn up. Can't get it off. Well, oh. okay, that is not oh, cool. Jesus. Right in front of the kids, Krista. Okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're? I said I'm fine. Okay. Oh wait, is it because she she just started being pregnant? I guess this was when she first started. Okay then, because you know in season two, if y'all don't know, Krista was pregnant in season two and then she lost the baby. Here goes nothing. Yes! 
God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, what do you see in there? Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation? Even though she's just winning, like, I head on, like, like girl, you don't know. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. You don't know what's in there. You never know. I should have said, don't you ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot, I should have been the other way. Should have been strict on her. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? Well? I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. But where's Chuck, though? I would want to know where Chuck is. I should have asked that. Omid's feeling better. You best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Then leave. I want to find where Chuck is. I bet he's gone now. He turned. He turned already. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door. Understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Chris and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. All 
clear in here. Just one more to check. Hey, guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far, so good. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, the place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, just some dog food. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just lock the attic up with him in it. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. He went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. You're gonna do it. He said it looked like duck. You stepped up before, Kenny. You did what had to be done. You can do it again now. That little boy needs your help. I know. I just... Oh, God. <laughs> Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine. Man, what if I get close? 
Go ahead, take some, take some meat. Take some meat. I know. <laughs> but that's, that's so horrible. Then you, it makes you feel sad, but it's like, no, I ain't giving you none. Uh, no, I'm, I'm gonna still stay living, okay? This will make it clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. I know that you can. You were strong for Duck. You can be strong again now. Do what's right for him. Send him on his way. Yeah, you better go do it. I ain't this. I ain't the help. should bury him. I'll take care of it. Hey! You stay the hell away from us, you hear? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. 
Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only going to get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. We will. But right now, we all need to focus on finding a boat. But what about what you promised? You said it was going to be just you and me. I know I did, Sweet Pea. I haven't forgotten. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. We all need to stick together as a group. Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be.
this one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? Uh, you are delusional. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Okay, we're gonna sit here and find if there's anything around here. Maybe we can look at this telescope. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Damn. Built solid. Locked. Now we got that quarter. It should have been more quarters than that, though. I'm just saying. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. in this city. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. No sign of any boats down there. Plenty of docks, no boats. No sign of any boats down there. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Watch it turn out she be, be, uh, I already know who it is. I forgot what her name was. But she gonna be knowing all kind of kung fu, ninjutsu, about to sit here, uh, no water style jutsu and fire jutsu. <laughs> it's gonna be a mess.
Clem? Please, don't hurt him! You're not from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Kenny, no, it's not our guy! No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite, when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. 
Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just... The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Bob, is there a. He said, for, she said, forget y'all on my own. Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. So, what the hell are we supposed to do? I refer you to my previous answer. But you have to help us, please. Come on, make it fast. Oh, fuck me. Come on, come on, hurry. Pete, come on. Oh, man, one good jump. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Don't let more walkers come through the hole. Shit. Feel sorry. Turn anymore in that direction. Good 
thing down out here, and not in there. Hmm. Seems loose. Shit. Don't turn anymore. Guess they gone. Wait. Okay, they gone now. Okay. Oh, that was Chuck. Oh my God, Chuck! He must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. That's so disappointing. But I knew he was gonna... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I could ask you the same question. You barged in on us, and, and I'm the one holding the gun. So I'll ask you again, who are you? Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? 
I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. I told you he's lying. He is one of them. Oh Kill my him. gosh! Us. It don't matter what you. I just walked into something that I shouldn't have been walking into. Who are? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. Made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, uh, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so that perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Y'all be okay. I wonder if I chose to go by myself, would I would I been able to find my way?
I'm glad I told the truth though, cause I felt like if I did, he would have found out. He would have found out that that wasn't my daughter. <laughs> Clementine, Clem. Molly. Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clementine, you here? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Molly? I told you, that girl isn't with me. Go ask your buddies and quit bothering me. Oh, she's so ruthless. But at least she's better than Jane. I'm just saying, maybe they should have just kept Molly for season two. <laughs> I'm just saying. Wait, where the heck I, I'm at anyway? Lord, I went out the wrong door. I was like, what the heck I went to? I could have went out that way too then, I just realized. Clem? Clementine? Clementine! Come out, please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? 
Hey man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Clementine? Clementine! What are you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! Holy shit. Where? Krista, how are you holding up? I'm okay. Vernon did what he could for Omid, but he's got a real infection and he's running a hell of a fever. I'm worried if we don't get some real medicine in him soon. Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news, or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? 
Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. That could happen. But we have to take that risk because it's just as dangerous not to. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. 
Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us? How? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. No, he is try help, he's trying to steal our boat. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Yeah, Molly the Slayer is about to sit here and be on the hunt tonight. She on the prowl. For the geeks. Hold up, <laughs> You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Okay, we back. I had to take a break real quick. Now we're about to see what Crawford is really like in these streets. Let's go. He sound like he about to do the whisper song. Hey, how you doing, love mama? Let me whisper in your ear. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Oh, before we move, I just realized that in my... When I played this episode a long time ago... Uh, the first time I had chose to have Clementine stay with Omid. And now I tell her to come with me. What Ooh. the fuck? Here. It's Attack of the Walkers! Inside, fast. Crawford edition. <laughs> that ain't even funny, man. so I think we're good for now at least what the hell happened here I thought this place was supposed to be secure what always happens I guess in the end the dead always win oh man we are so screwed no this is good Vernon's right 
We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. the medicine right here nurse's station they were using it as a medical facility how do you know that just makes sense doesn't it so what about a battery uh, maybe at the auto shop there used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Yeah, you the leader. Oh. Yeah, okay. you better recognize. Yes. You you a big girl now. Cuz he know he <laughs> You strong girl. You strong by yourself. Guess we're gonna head out. But maybe I can talk to Ben real quick. Real quick. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? That'd make a nice change of pace. 
Wow, no need to agree with me quite so much. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. I mean, was I lying? W why do I need to lie? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, Are no you really? This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Uh, no. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real, real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Well, you talking to some... Look. Hold on. Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself. For the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. I don't care how much of a good guy do you think he is. Boy, he gonna sit here and tear you to shreds. He already had to shoot two people, and then he's seeing kill Larry. Are you mean? Are you serious right now? Are you serious? He, this freaking kid is so deluded in his head, and you think, no, goodbye. What you need to be sitting here feeling wrong about is that you sitting here had uh, Doug. Not is it Doug? Yes, yeah, it's Doug. I think it's B Doug or B Benny. One of those two. Okay. He's mine. What were you doing up there? Girl. Molly? Molly! What? I think you got it. One more. Like, he's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Here we go. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Okay, so anyway, what was gonna say? Molly, the dude is gone. Like, you think you mut mutilating his, his walking dead body is gonna do anything? I'm just saying. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect.
More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. No power. Maybe he's... Hmm. It's locked. No way in. Well, what are my options? There has to be a way to turn on the power now. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. No power. Okay then, so now I get her thing. Okay. Did it? Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. It's still attached to the terminals. It's still attached to the terminals. It's off. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Dang, they well. Only one thing I can say, they are smart enough to crawl under the garage Skyline. door. Stop complaining. Come on. See, she's been doing this for a while now. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Whoa! So now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Hey, shoot, Molly acting like she Laura Croft over here trying to find some some booty. Come on. Later, something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly. 
Damn it, what the hell is she doing? She would leave. But what she else she got to do? I forgot. I mean, she already got the, uh, you know, the doctor do. Can't open it without the combination. You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay, then. So it gotta be something somewhere else. Them over here. Fuck, the doors won't close all the way. Lou, do something. We got it. Break the door with something. Break that hold. Damn well better. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's a hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, the then explain. I mean, you ain't like you gonna be here anytime soon, my girl. You better see and just explain your your truth. How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great, helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this, with a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Huh. I'm gonna talk to Clem. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think so, Claire. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. 
I guess you're right. No power, no TV. Then we're gonna go head out. Shit. How they got in? Without no aim assist. <laughs> what the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. this on the floor it's a sonogram y'all already checked these drawers yes Lee nothing in there worth taking no tape inside How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Put that tape in there. We're gonna find out what's on the on the tape. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day eighty two since the outbreak. Fifteen forty seven. Doctor Logan in consultation with patient. Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. I mean, how oh, else? God. They don't get condoms. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it, and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. 
but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Whoa. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. Do I really gotta search him? Like, do I really gotta do all that? This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit. Time to go. <laughs> I like that. See, I love how Lee uh, cusses. I really do. Yeah. Time to go. <laughs> I can't say it because you know how YouTube guidelines be changing. two more tapes one of them is dated October 10th that's the day after the first one we watched put it in have you made a decision I thought you said I didn't have a choice well technically you do you can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford of course that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh! So she basically sit here and said, if I can't live and have my baby, I'm shooting everybody. It's going to be hell up in this, in this Crawford. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. See, I wish I can choose to sit here and watch the third tape anyway, you know? With them? Now that will be a mess. Me, Krista, and uh, Vernon will all know the truth about Molly. Whoa! See? She's over here Listen, as fun as busting was, the open the Waikiki. Like, this is the last I can do. Why? <laughs> Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister. Your poom poom ain't good medicine. enough for medicine. Without it, she'll die. That's or messed up. She'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, 
That's the Crawford way, isn't it? I mean, you was getting pum pum. That e <laughs> I'm just saying. I guess they ain't good enough. Oh, shit. I'm telling you. It ain't be good enough. Okay, then. Wow. Now we can leave, though. At least. She gonna drop down, I bet. There she go. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. See, where does Lee be putting them up? What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really going to do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic. And by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. I kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Well, yeah, see, I had to confront her. At least we know. Uh, I guess that door's about to break. just got spooked by those bells and then I heard someone coming Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory he sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open oh heck no uh, Ben where did you get that I just found it it was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there oh no <laughs> Shit! shoot I tell you Me. Okay, you better go ahead, Clem. Thanks. Let's go. Oh, here, Molly the Walker Slayer. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna put that as the title. Going That's on? what it's gonna be, Molly the Walker Slayer. Oh, shit. That ought to hold him. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't you the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? 
It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Wait a minute. I'm sorry, I had to pause real quick. She was like, oh shoot, Clementine got a voice. I need to shut the heck up now. You better, you better. That's my best friend. You what? You better. <laughs> I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Wait a minute! What the hell? Excuse my. I can't even. No, forget it. I ain't sitting here bleeping my shit out no more. What the hell? That was like some, like, like some freaking mess right there. That was a mess. That was worse than Carly's death. See here, it got mutilated and everything. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Let me take a second. <laughs> that was a mess. She got bitten there. She see here, got her head pulled, got her head pulled in the back by the, by a walker hand in the, through the window. And then he started pull. the other walker started pulling like it was a game bang. Like, oh my gosh, I can't take this no more. And when the episode, when this season gonna end? Now can we go? Damn right. Oh my gosh. Come on. Cause I did, I was like, is she, is she, is she supposed to uh, be gone soon? So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Whoa. Close the door. Fuck! It's not going to hold. Back upstairs. Look! You know I ain't good with shots.
on, guys, get out the way. Come on. It's all right, Clint. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Come on, let's go! Oh my gosh. No, look at Kitty. Kitty like, you better do it. You better do it. Come on, please do it. He's like over here, ha again, so freaking turned on to have Ben go. Like, no, I'm not going to let Ben go. I was going to at first, but it was like, you know what? Lee, we both know. Let me go. I'm not going to be. Lee is not going to be another murderer. Okay. Oh, me. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Uh, hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Well, you do the same. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. So you'll be returning to your group now? Yeah. It'll be hard to break the news about Bree. They all really grew to care for her. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, 
and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she Okay, will. first of all. She don't know you. I'm sorry if I'm far away from the microphone. I hope y'all can still hear me. But she's like, she don't know you. And we have a bond for almost a year now. And I taught her everything that she needs to know. And you think you could do... Tell me, like, saying, like, like I'm supposed to sit here and go on a boat. Like, I'm actually going to go on a boat with Kenny. I mean, I might have to, but that's our plan at that moment. Doesn't mean I'm going to be staying on the boat for, like, the, you know, forever. We're just going to get on the boat so we can get away from the from the city. For at least for the time being. And he got to tell me, like, he his his place is safe. You under the sewer were a bunch of walkers that I just, was basically... Eating Chuck like a freaking buffet dinner on a Sunday. Like, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no. It'll be if she stays with you. I Let's promise. just... That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course. Take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you, rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. That ain't the truth. What can she ask? You what is that. she gonna ask? Tell me now. What is she gonna ask? Like, how... You owe... You old geriatric man, like what is you gonna teach her that Lee didn't taught her? Man, goodbye. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm I'm a little bit I'm I'm not pissed, but it's like irritating that he gonna see her ass Lee to take Clementine off his hands, like like stop with that. That's some BS. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. That might be for the best. Boat's gonna be crowded as it is. You kind of strike me as more of a go-it-alone type. Yeah, I've always had a hard time relying on other people. Although I've got to admit, you've given me a reason to rethink that. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me. Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. See, that's why I like Molly better than Jane. Like, I feel like Jane was a carbon copy, but except Jane had pro more problems than she can bear. At least Molly could sit here and try to live in a world without her sister. Just saying. But not everybody's strong like that. Kenny's working on the boat. Go figure. No. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? You and me, we're going to go our own way. Just like we agreed. We don't need anyone else. It's just going to be the two of us. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. They gone, honey. They gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry.
Don't leave the walkie-talkie next to her. Boy. See, Lee. Lee be doing some stupid things. Like, I can't. I can't with Lee. You gonna leave the walkie-talkie right in front. <sighs> Clementine? I would've gave that uh, walkie-talkie to, uh, to Kenny. That's what I would've Clementine? did. We'll go to some random man talking about, I got your parents in the, in the hotel. Sound like some... <laughs> I got the parents in the hotel. Like, it's they right here with me, Clementine. All you gotta do is come to the hotel. Like, that's some creepy stuff. Like, come on now. I can't deal with this. Clementine? Clementine! Oh no! See, this is this Lee. is this is stupid problems one on one. You know, Lee, Lee, you're not supposed to be going up going up by trash bins that got like a like some wooden like floor on top of the trash. Like there might be something in between. Like why would you do that? Forget the freaking walkie talkie. Shoot, you should have had threw away that walkie talkie a long damn time ago. But you're gonna keep it just for to sit here and think that's gonna help you. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee, where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No, no fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No, no way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine I like how Cl together. Okay. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I okay, Chris, you better sit here and smile. We're gonna help you. I don't know about Kenny. I don't know why you're looking over here, Lee. Hell. I can't remember the last time you went out on a limb for me, if ever. And I've got a boat to prep. Well, Kenny, this is gonna be our last time seeing each other, so. You know what, Kenny? Go fuck yourself. You gonna let a little girl die because I didn't have your back every damn minute? Maybe you should grow the fuck up. Do whatever you want, asshole. You might not have been keeping score, you son of a bitch, but I sure as hell have. And you've always looked out for yourself more often than your friends. 
Well, now you're gonna know what that feels like, asshole. Because I'm gonna look out for myself and get that boat ready to sail. What about you, Ben? I don't know. But whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I swear, before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. I'll prove it to you. You'll see. Come on, guys. Let's go. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Every time fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Well then. Well, that was halfway. I I can understand why though people let pe Ben fall like he, he it was kind of his fault, and then it was his fault for saying telling the truth to Kenny anyway. It's like let it go. Deal with what you can do right now, okay? Did you bring Clement Clementine with you to Crawford? Yeah. Okay then. Did you lie to burn it? I know in the beginning I had I did lie I did lie I said that's my daughter like I don't understand why they keep on saying act like uh Clementine can't be can't be her be his daughter like come on now you killed a boy in the attic see oh that was what you and twenty six percent of the players oh okay I I wonder how y'all feel about now if y'all didn't want to do if if y'all chose not to do it I bet it'd be more people but anyway I hope y'all enjoyed this. We got one more episode. I thank you. We can get this done with because it's been like two hour gameplays for these things. Like, ooh. I don't know if I miss this all the time. <laughs> but I, I, it's nice to see him play season one back over again and in a different mindset. So definitely hit that like button. Thanks for anybody supporting the videos. Like, I really do like this. I'm gonna keep on. I'm gonna keep on rolling with this channel, you know. So, take care, everybody, and catch y'all in the next one.